I feel you can't really compare these laptops. You've got one that's Mac OS, you've got one that's Windows, one's from Microsoft, one's from Apple. Um, yeah, the typing experience is obviously much better on the MacBook Air. This one still sort of wobbles as you type. Portability is just fantastic with the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus because you can just put it in tablet mode. But then this is quite good to carry around as well. They're both fanless. The M1 blows the i5 chip out of the water completely. But then you've got Windows on it and it's got a whole range of software packages if you need to run on it. Uh, it's got Steam, it's got games, which is a huge plus for me as well. Which one would I want to take with me? I've already made a video about the screen on the MacBook Air M1. I would be scared to take it out in case the screen cracks and that's it. Now, this has got a glass screen, but it's designed for being touched. Um, I don't know if it's Gorilla Glass or something, but it would still shatter as well. This is a lot lighter to pick up in tablet mode, and surprisingly, it's actually okay to use in tablet mode. Compared to the iPad, obviously, the iPad is a better tablet, but I can see Apple going down that route shortly. Trackpad on the MacBook Air is simply the best. It's just, you know, there's no comparison about that. Battery life is amazing on here. I probably get six to seven hours on this one. Obviously, you go a bit higher on the MacBook Air M1, but you can't compare them. I mean, if you had a choice, it's really down to which OS you're gonna use more. If you have no loyalties at all, no loyalties, I would go with the MacBook Air M1. But I like Windows and I've got history with Windows and I've got stuff that work on Windows. And I just wanna take it around. And to have a full blown OS on the tablet is brilliant. The multitasking is where it really wins for me. So let me know what you think in the comments below, like and subscribe and until next time.